<laughs> that post F45 workout. Wow. Cardio day before 8 a.m. Check done. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, we are getting things done. Tomorrow, from the point that I am filming this, is Thanksgiving, and so I have a ton of prep work to do, not to mention um, wrapping up our homeschool for the next two-ish weeks while we are on um, Thanksgiving, obviously, my birthday, a trip, my youngest birthday. Uh, so this was a planned homeschooling break. So getting things ready for our trip, surrounded by suitcases. <laughs> um, and so I obviously have some food to prepare, some cleaning to do, some homeschooling to do. Uh, and so I thought I would bring you guys along for a get it done with me holiday style. Um, no shopping involved today. I definitely took care of all of that ahead of time, but it's more of just getting things ready around the house so that tomorrow I can just enjoy watching the parade with my family and cooking with Jake and just have an enjoyable, restful, comfy Thanksgiving day. Uh, I want to thank Night Zookeeper for sponsoring today's video. Night Zookeeper continues to come in perfect timing for days like today. My youngest daughter is doing a shortened school day today. I'm having her do Bible study, math, and night zookeeper. So more on them um, a little bit later in the video. But I got an early start this morning, 5.30 a.m. The alarm went off. Got a workout done before 8 o'clock. A very hard workout at F45, dripping sweat. Never, ever, ever wanting to do it that early in the morning. But any time I push through that, and I get myself there, which I have to pat myself on the back. I've been very disciplined about getting up and going on the days that I, you know, plan to go. Um, I never regret it. So I'm home from that. I needed to fill my body with nutrition. I ate some eggs and some egg whites and had another cup of coffee and drank already like 60 ounces of water because like I said, that workout was rough. Um, I am in my sweaty workout clothes, which now that I have sweat, um, now everything is getting very cold. <laughs> so I'm going to take a shower uh, to rinse off all this sweat and get out of these sweaty clothes. And um, then we're just gonna get started with getting things done. So everyone is working on their things that they need to do um, and making sure that all of their things are squared away for a bit of a homeschool break. I'll tell you guys here in a second what I do uh, just to make things easier. A little homeschool mom tip for older kids. So a little homeschool mom tip if you have older kids and if you have younger kids, then save this in your mind for the future. So anytime we're gonna take a bit of an extended period of time off, like a substantial break, not you know one or two days, but like a full week, especially two weeks, it's wise in my opinion to make sure that all of your kids finish up basically any quizzes or tests that they have on material they've already been learning. Um, you don't want to leave that for the first thing they're doing when they come back because sometimes it takes a little bit of a refresher. Not that they forget everything they learn because they don't, but just if they haven't been thinking about it, obviously in two weeks. Um, then, you know, they might not feel super great about taking a quiz or a test on something. So that's, um, you know, how my kids are. They, they care about that stuff and they don't want to do that right when we come back. So I have them going through basically their math. If they have a math quiz, then I'm having them take it today. Um, in their BJU science and foreign language courses. Those also include tests and quizzes. So if they have one of those, that is like the very next lesson that I'm having them do that. Um, my youngest daughter isn't using any online um, 
resources yet for school so that's not really um, a concern for her but for the older three it is and so that's just something that we like to do and then it just kind of lets everybody feel like everything got wrapped up well before the homeschool break and then when we come back then they're all starting like new chapters new material or if they just got into a chapter or some new material, then they're picking up where they left off. And so that's just how we like to do things, but I thought I would mention that here just because I think that it's a, it's a good tip to just have in the back of your mind. And this girl over here is submitting her last final draft in her second college class. Very, very exciting. <laughs> Um, we were not sure about the timeline of this class because it was running right into Thanksgiving week, but I think she's glad we did it and she's balanced it well with some travel we've had in there for going to Michigan and getting back and having things to do. So super excited and winter break is going to feel like a real winter break because we're not going to start up any more college courses until when? January. January. And then it'll be psychology which will be even easier than English, I think. Really? Well, I think it'll just be different. Okay. So, yay. So anytime I am trying to get my to-do list done, I always prioritize homeschooling. So this day was no exception. Even though we were doing a lighter school day, I wanted to get that done first. I went over my daughter's math with her and we were making corrections and discussing a few things. And then I was going to have her play on Night Zookeeper, which if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't heard about Night Zookeeper, they are a creative writing and language arts platform for kids ages five through 12. We have been using Night Zookeeper in our homeschool for years and I have been sharing them for years with you guys because there are so many uses for Night Zookeeper. Not only is it going to teach and reinforce all of the language arts concepts and creative writing concepts that you're working so hard on with your curriculum, but it's just a great resource to have on hand for days like today when I needed to do laundry and pack and get my house ready for hosting, I was able to have her play on Night Zookeeper and I know that she's number one having so much fun. There are endless games available to play on Night Zookeeper, but it's not just wasted screen, screen time. She's actually practicing a variety of different things and we love it. Here she's looking at opposite words and there's just so much good stuff on there there's really endless ways. So if you guys want to check out Night Zookeeper, you can get a seven day free trial using the link that is down in the description box. There is no code. And you can also get 50% off of your subscription when you use the link down below. So that's a seven day free trial and a 50% off your subscription. They do have a multi-sibling plan. So if you're a mom of multiple children, then that can come in handy for you. If you're gonna be flying, if you're gonna be road tripping this holiday season, if you're gonna be taking an extended winter break, or if you just wanna take a break from your language arts curriculum and change it up for the Christmas season, take a little bit off of your plate. Language arts um, can be practiced and done in a variety of ways. And I love Night Zookeeper for supplementing language arts in our homeschool. So definitely, definitely check them out. We have loved them. All of my kids, even my older kids, remember playing on Night Zookeeper and they all chime in as she tries to, uh, you know, get points and move on. And they're all still, you know, entranced by the fun characters on the screen. So we are just huge, huge fans of it. And I know that it will come in handy for you guys this Christmas season. So definitely check out the link in the description box and save yourself some money and get prepared for all of your holiday travel or your homeschool breaks. And I know your kids will find something on Night Zookeeper that they love too.
So next up, you guys can see that I am folding my son's uh, clothes here. He was bringing me things for our upcoming family vacation and I always do a double check. I have them use a, a list and then I do a double check. Uh, recently, I had gotten away from doing the double check and I had children arriving places without underwear and also one time my daughter completely forgot her entire bag. Thankfully, we were in a place where we could just go to a store and pick up a few things and it was a short trip, but nonetheless, I'm checking. <laughs> Next up, I am getting caught up on some grading. This was our last homeschool day right here before we took a two week break. It's a break I had planned on, it's a break I had scheduled, and quite honestly, it's a break that I was looking forward to, but I had a lot of grading to get caught up on for my high schoolers specifically. I know I'll get questions on what grading system I'm using. I'm not using my own like system or any other type of thing. This. Uh, platform comes with the BJU Press homeschool curriculum that my high schoolers use. So I'm grading some standardized test practice here and then I was also grading a language arts uh, high school unit from The Good and the Beautiful and they supply the grading rubric. So that is what I was working on here and of course having some discussions over the grades with my high schooler and just getting all caught up and um, making sure that my basket, which you can see that teal basket is all the way empty and it feels really good to have all of these grades inputted and um, his tests all checked. Now that all of the homeschooling portion of this Get It Done With Me is done and I'm officially on break, I went downstairs and was starting to get things ready for Thanksgiving. So I was doing a little bit of food prep. I'm not like a cook everything ahead type of person, but I do try to do like prep work, you know, like boiling noodles for the crock pot macaroni and cheese. My youngest was making some um, pumpkin bread for breakfast. My sons, you'll see here in a second, were um, cutting blocks of cheese and peeling potatoes. My daughters were making like the brown sugar cinnamon mixture for some um, baking and some sweet potatoes that I was gonna be doing. So just kind of getting that stuff done. And I wanted to do all of that before I got to the next part of this Get It Done With Me, which is cleaning before hosting. Um, because obviously we're creating a lot of crumbs. We're, you know, potato peels are getting on the floor. The dogs are swarming like sharks. Like you can see, they just wait and hope that something falls. You'll notice Dorothy is never in my kitchen. We do not feed any of the dogs table food, but Dorothy, the black and white basset hound is so good. She never is under my feet in the kitchen. She's just not a dog that does that. These two, however, are the absolute worst. I am constantly stepping and tripping on them and it's just, it's so annoying. Jake would ask me why I haven't trained them to stay away. And it's just because a person can only do so many things. <laughs> That's what I always tell him. I am training humans. I can't train these dogs to not come in the kitchen. So anyway, we are working together here as a family. And uh, I wish you could hear the noise volume, but for your sake, I've muted it.
So the last and final step that I wanted to do this day was obviously clean the house um, and prepare for hosting. So we clean our house often. So, you know, we're not doing baseboards and all of that, but you know, lots of people, lots of pets, and I just like things to be neat and tidy when I host. I don't feel burdened by this. I actually enjoy cleaning my home and preparing, washing my ruggables because of the dogs, and this is absolutely hilarious. So my kids know that I am filming myself getting things done around the house, and they, they know that the camera's there. I let them know this. My sons come down <laughs> in these outfits um, for a game that one of my sons likes to make the other play. And, you know, I'm just thankful for their funny imaginations, but I realize how hilarious this looks as I'm editing it. And I just did not want to take it out because number one, I think you guys need to see me straightening my ruggable. And number two, it's so funny. Um, wow, yes save that one for the memories straightening the ruggable with my son with an elf hat on that's that doesn't happen every day <laughs> uh next up i'm gonna be mopping the floors and wiping down all of the kitchen chairs and moving the table back and my oldest was cleaning the bathroom it was definitely a team effort to get our house nice and clean for our guests and now we are ready to celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow. So, so excited about that. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends and just were able to reflect on how the Lord has blessed you this year. Make sure you guys check out the links to Night Zookeeper down below. Take advantage of that seven day free trial and 50% off offer. I know it'll come in handy for you this Christmas season, especially if you are a homeschooler, but also if you're not, if your kids are on winter break, it's a great thing to have them engage their minds still, you know? So that information is down in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up before you go. It's a free way to support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all again really soon. Bye friends.